Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh and today we are going to learn one more question with complete details. And I hope you guys have already started following the UiPath certification practice series from my channel playlist. So with that, let's get started and understand this question. What are the differences between send windows message and simulate type input methods? So this is a very common question that you would encounter about the send windows message, simulate type and default. Okay. And these are a couple of options given to you and you need to select the right answer. But we do not know which one is the right answer. We have to have a complete background of these two properties. Okay, so what are these properties? Send windows message and simulate type. Any type you use any kind of an input activity. For example, type into click activity, right? These are the input methods. Now this input activity, if you look at the property panel, it has got send windows message. Now there is a difference. These activities are from the classic activity. Okay, the classic activity has these properties. The modern design is slightly improved one. You may not have, you have it, but again in a different format. So to experiment this, always enable, go to your activity panel, click on the filter option and here you need to enable show classic. So I am already in the classic design. Otherwise you would find something called show classic, enable it and you should be able to find these activities. Okay, that is the first point. Now let us understand what is the difference between all these options that we have got send windows message simulate type okay and where is the default type the default type is not available here so default type is automatically works when you do not enable any of these two options okay let's say i'm not enabling any of this if you enable what would happen to become true okay so if you do not enable any of this then the default option would work now what are all this we have a question right for that i'm going to provide you the link uh, in the description or else you can simply search for input methods ui path on google you will find this link okay now here there is a clear cut description and the differences between all the three input methods and you should have you should remember all of this pretty well because one of the question would be around this so it is better to remember right you may get a question around this generally you get so ensure you remember all this tab table so let's start with the first option so what is the first option? Default. Default option. That means if you are not enabling any of the other two options, that means the default option is going to continue to work. So with the default option enabled for any of this activity, for example, type into or click activity. So how it is going to work, right? It defines. So for example, this is compatible with 100%. That means if you are using a click activity on an application, or you are clicking onto a web browser, uh, web page, right? Anywhere you are trying to click on a UI element. So it's going to work 100% of the time, okay? Background execution. So the background execution is not available. That means every time it has to work, it will automatically activate the page. So if you look at, there is an option here, you will find in the options, there is something called activate. So uh, let's check on for the click activity. <laughs> send windows message there but activate window is not there but for the type and if you look at activate so what it does it will bring that application to the foreground and will work so if you are using a default option that means default when you are using a default option when you are not selecting anything here you are not clicking on send windows message or simulate click that time you are using default option so when you are using the default option it can't work in the background that is the first point you should make a note okay default option cannot work in the background speed this is the slowest one the default option works very slow it's a 50 percent speed hotkey support what is hotkey support when you say uh, for example you after typing you want to send a enter key or you want to do alt tab whatever you want to do a hotkey so this default option does support hotkey okay keyboard shortcuts you can call it auto empty field so let's say auto empty field means this does not automatically empty the field for that you have to enable this property panel called empty field okay if you are using the default option you have to ensure if you have to empty the field you need to check this so first point is clear what is default how the default is enabled when you when we are not using 
send windows message or we are not using similar type if you are not enabling any of this if it is left blank that means in this right in this condition you are using the default option and the default option works 100% it's 100% compatible with all kind of applications and web pages Brag, this is the main point background execution is not available with default okay speed is 50% hotkey support is there but it does not empty field automatically we have to manually do it so this point is clear now let's go to the second point send windows message it works only for the 80% of the application on an average around 80% of the applications 80% of the uh, desktop applications and applications on the web or web pages up to 80 it's not 100 percent compatible okay and background execution is enabled with this that means it, if you are enabling send windows message here okay this is going to work in the background it will not bring the web page to the foreground and try to work on it it will it, it can work in the background okay and this one utilizes the operating system so how your operating system interacting with uh, various applications so it utilizes the windows operating system the default one utilize your hardware events for example you are clicking on the mouse moving the mouse so all this works through the keyboard and mouse driver right there is a hardware driver so using that it works this one directly works through the operating system okay 80 percent compatible background execution yes speed is 50 percent hotkey support is there so remember for default and windows message hotkey support is available okay but speed is 50 percent okay the slowest one is the default the second best one is send windows message the best one is simulate the speed is the max 100 percent speed okay so this one is understood auto empty field also not does not work with this so when you are using send windows message it is advised if you have to empty a field enable this okay make it true both the things you should make it true so this is understood let's go to the third option the third option is simulate type click and this is the background so this works using the target application programming for example you have to work on google chrome so it will use the google chrome uh, or you are working on a specific application from the desktop it will use that application programming language and try to interact directly so the speed is the max simulate click where it can execute in a very very fast way okay this is the important point this works with 99% of the web apps 99 not 100% okay with the web application 99% it works 60% of the desktop application not even 80 60% only desktop applications so when you have to go for a web uh, application automation then you can go for a similar type so everything will work in the background okay but again 99% compatible there are chances of failure if you go with similar type so how do you enable the similar type so let me uncheck all of this and i need to enable this so that means it will work using the target application programming language okay so this is understood and then background execution yes speed 100 percent hotkey support is not there that means if you have to do a after typing you want to hit on enter any kind of a hotkey you want to send that does not work with simulate click okay remove this but good thing is it can auto empty field that means you don't have to enable this empty field okay while using this you don't have to do it if you do it doesn't matter but generally you don't have to do it because it understands every time it types it will automatically auto empty that field okay so that is the so this table you need to write it on a notepad for all the three different options default what are the properties send windows message what are the properties simulate type what are the properties you need to remember everything properly for example 100 percent default 80 percent 99 percent and 60 percent this you have to remember background execution is does not work with the default it works for other two options okay speed you, you have to remember hotkey support works with the default and send windows message but does not work with the simulate type hotkey support okay this is the very important point auto empty field again auto empty field available with simulate type but does not available with other two okay once you remember all these three points let's go back to the question and you'll be able to answer it pretty clearly so let's see that what is the first option given to us send windows message is compatible with 80 percent of the applications which is true right this first sentence is true 
send windows message works with 80 percent yeah it's true simulate type is compatible with 100 percent of the application no it's not true why it works only with 99 percent of the web app 60 percent of the desktop app so this sentence becomes wrong so your first option is wrong let's go with the second option send windows message does not work in the background this is this sentence correct wrong because send windows message can work in the background okay it can work on the background so this sentence itself is wrong so this option is anyways gone simulate type does work in the background one sentence is right the first sentence is wrong so this is this option is also completely wrong let's move on to the third option send windows message has hotkey support send yes true send windows message has hotkey support the first two right simulate type does not have hotkey support again it is true simulate type does not have a hotkey support so this option is right let's also read the last option send windows message auto empties the input field no this is wrong it cannot auto empty the input field right no it is no so here this sentence itself is wrong auto empties the auto simulate type does not auto empty this is again contradictory this is wrong simulate type does not auto empty yes it can auto empty the field okay it does so this is also wrong so what is the right answer third is the right answer so when you know all this you know if you remember this in image or if you know what are those properties of all of these input methods any kind of a question that appears around the send windows message simulate type or default you should be able to answer it okay this table remembering this table is very very important okay so thank you guys for watching it we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you which would help you to prepare for the uipath certification thank you guys take care bye bye